Hi, Kate here. Welcome to Wellcast. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, check out our introductory video. Long story short, it's 100 wellness exercises in 100 days. You in? 2.3 million Americans watch hoarders each week. We're mesmerized by the stacks of papers, broken toasters, and bugs that take over the homes and lives of these perfect strangers. But who lives like that? We all do to some extent. Okay, your home might not be hoarder's caliber messy, but chances are there's a cluttered corner in your life that you need to sort out. Maybe one of your closets is stuffed to the brim. Whatever your clutter, we're gonna help you get rid of it in three easy steps. Why cut clutter? Well, in extreme circumstances, clutter is harmful to your mental health. A study done by Russell Belk, a researcher at the University of Minnesota, found that some people substitute stuff equally for happiness and wrongly equate more stuff with more happiness. Furthermore, participants in his study reported that clutter had diminished their focus, made them lose friends, and made them feel hopelessly out of control. UCLA psychologist Gene Arnold also found that clutter actually increases production of stress hormones. And these stress hormones help produce particularly nasty ailments like heart problems, obesity, ugh, and skin conditions. Here at Wellcast, we recognize the importance of your space. So today we're going to do a wellness exercise to help you clear the clutter. You probably have a bunch of excuses for the useless things you hold on to. Hey, it's easy to make excuses. You might think things like, I could sell this and make a lot of money one day, or, oh, I loved this when I bought it. But instead of making excuses, let's take action right now. Step one, open your Wellcast journal. We're going to determine exactly how much every square foot of your house is worth. This is called the clutter cost equation. Take the value of your home and divide it by the total square footage. This will give you the value of each square foot. For example, if you own a $300,000 home and it has 1,500 square feet, the value of each square foot is $200. Time for step two. Go through your home and figure out how much clutter you have. Let's say a third of your house is filled with old VHS tapes, sweaters, and stuffed animals. That's 500 square feet. Let's continue with our clutter cost equation. Multiply the value of each square foot by the total square feet taken up by your stuff. This number will show you how much money you're wasting on clutter. For example, if each square foot of your home is worth $200 and you have 500 square feet of clutter, that's $10,000 being wasted. Not only is your clutter messing with your mental health, it's taking a toll on your wallet. It's okay. We're going to help you figure out how we can make that $10,000 back. Step three, we're gonna go through your clutter. You're gonna create three piles. One pile for things to throw out, one pile for stuff to sell on Craigslist, and one pile to donate to Goodwill. Go through every closet and every drawer, take no prisoners. When you come up with something that you've got a sentimental attachment to, but you don't use that often, put it aside. Ask yourself, why are you keeping this thing? As hard as it is to get rid of sentimental things, Maybe you can keep the memory alive through a photo or artwork. Photos on the wall make your space look nicer and they don't take up valuable square footage. After picking through your piles, write down your experience in your Wellcast journal. By cleaning out all that clutter, you not only contributed to goodwill, you contributed to your own well-being. Now, how are you feeling? We want to hear about it. Let's do a clutter recap. Clutter is harmful to your health. It makes you lose focus and produces stress hormones. Not only that, it's costing you a ton of money. So, by going through all your clutter and dividing into three piles, one to sell, one to toss, and one to donate, we organized how you're gonna get rid of clutter. And for incentive, we showed you with our clutter cost equation just how much money you're wasting on clutter per square foot if you don't take our advice. Tweet us at WatchWellCast Email us at watchwellcast at gmail.com or leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.